Welcome to the Programme Crown 2024. Today, 12 of the fittest teenage athletes in the world arrive to Mallorca. We'll be staying at Nike's castle where the athletes will be fitted out with the latest Nike gear, welcomed with some epic gifts from GoWad. This is the behind the scenes and where you get to find out who will be crowned king and queen of this year's crown. You guys knew each other? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not good at messaging people. <laughs> <laughs> Ramsey has a new nickname for you three. Okay. Oh. Let's hear it. We were talking, so I'm Italian, he's Spanish, but we're talking in English, so we're just putting words together. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, they're like, uh, what did you say? They're like icebergs. He was describing you guys, he's like, they're icebergs. <laughs> I mean, that sounds good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was um, 18 to... Oh, okay, because this right here is actually me. Yeah, right. you were... Second. The second place, yeah. <laughs> good luck. Oh, you're here, right. Yeah, that's me. Uh, yeah, so I got an invitation then, but I actually couldn't compete, and now I can compete, so I'm here. Yeah, it's basically, basically the better. same thing for me. Yeah. But like, I you did course, compete didn't compete, and, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got an invitation like for last year, but I was like injured and yeah. some stuff going on, so I couldn't come, and now I'm really excited to be able to be here. Uh, I knew what the comp was, and then like it got changed to the crown. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they got both invitation. So I did the colors and like destroyed. You guys watched the documentary. I did, yes. You you I did. Know about them. No, you guys didn't. not? No. <laughs> you just saw and uh, watched it on social media. Yeah. Yeah. To sit down and watch a stupid <laughs> Well, it's not too late to watch it. We can always watch it later. You, you can watch it today. <laughs> today. And and just being hyped for tomorrow, you know? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. What was your favorite event or part? I watched this. I watched it as soon as it came out, so okay. it was quite yes, thank you. a time ago, yes. Yeah, and we, we had a uh, mountain bike, um, beach run. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought the bike was really cool, like biking in the mountains. This is the island, we're here, the house is here, and most of the locations are like here. Uh, okay. Well, I think it's just tight with all of us inside. Uh, and we're gonna go get some food to eat. Oh, I'm hungry. Yeah, very excited. Yeah. Uh, currently very hungry, but otherwise yeah. it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's normal. Oh, Diego. Rakhli. Hi. Same one. Same one. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. You're from Iceland, right? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> There's a huge party in my house. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. We're gonna leave the luggage at my house and do a little walk yeah, okay. around the the, the, yeah, the city right. center. That's cool. So let's go there. Oh yeah. Like it. Sounds like a plan. What's your favorite yeah. part of the documentary or event? Yeah. Um, even though I don't like swimming, uh, that part was. Uh, like the coolest one. Ah, from boat to shore. Yeah, but then also the uh, mountain bike in the uh, mountains, uh, where where they had to go as far as you said they had to go. But they didn't know before they started. Yeah, uh, that's a crazy one. So, uh, but I like the mountains. I like nature. Uh, but of course, CrossFit is fun as well. Okay, you get to pick two events. The first one is an event that you think you would have fun in, like yeah. the most fun, and one that you think you would win against everyone else. For the fun event, I would have to pick cycling in the mountains, but for an event that I would do well in, probably like a one hundred miles clean or something. Fun event would be biking, and the event I would do well in would be just like a very simple workout. Go fast. A like like no, CrossFit. Yeah, yeah. Like no technique. So my fun event would probably be like... Okay, okay, so Maybe an ordinary CrossFit workout, but up in the mountains. So like with a view. I saw Arjun uh, Mundvile. Uh, uh, he did a yeah he did a workout on a 
<clears throat> like a floating thing in the ocean. Okay. That that's cool. Yeah, what I would win is probably like a power workout with a lot of legs because I played hockey before and my yeah. I, I'm used to like a minute intervals. Uh, with just max out power. Yeah. So I will pick bouldering. Mm. One CrossFit worker that I will win, depending against who. <laughs> uh, against Jan. Burpee, box jump overs, uh, dumbbell snatch, chest to bar. I think you will bike up a hill, then we have a down it with the bike. Okay. So for a fun workout, I would really like something outdoors, like a lot of different movements, like also some biking, which really and then something I would win, I don't know, maybe some gymnastics, preferably pullovers or something. I really like that. So All right, pullovers. Yeah, really Someone yeah. has been training. I would say like biking and mountains and something like that. I would have to say something heavy, like some one or one rep max lift or something. No, something fun like strongly and stuff like. like oh, a strongman. Something that I'd win, like a. Uh, something fun, probably something with loads of gymnastics, like muscle ups, handstand walk, no barbell. Uh, <laughs> something I could win, maybe a swim, like a longer one. Yeah. 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 There's four rooms upstairs, and then there's two rooms on the side. So have a look round, find anything. You can't open the lockers yet, but the rest of the stuff, um, make yourself at home. Holy cow. I was a bit, a bit skeptical to the uh, Nike Castle name, but it uh, really fills up that name, you know. Any gym bag, so this is good. That's really nice. This is really good. Oh, go on. Not bad. Oh, there's a disease on there. No way. Is it like crazy? First of all, first of all, first of all, all branded bath robes. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for Brittany. Nike soap. Nike soap. And EG. You get things. Nice, nice guys. I buy this go wood yeah. because I don't have it and it's going to be great to have go wood. It's a bit short. Yeah. You know, in the documentary, you thought it was only a little villa and not this whole property. Don't, don't, don't be shy. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come. It's going to come.
Welcome to the castle. Over the next few days, you'll be treated like royalty. Surrounded by your fellow athletes, you'll be taken on an adventure to unlock your athletic potential, build everlasting friendships, and celebrate the new generation of cross-training athletes. You. Athletes, are you ready to show us what it takes to be crowned the new king or queen? Are you ready for an unforgettable week on the island? And most importantly, are you ready to reign? All the best of luck. You got this. Now, we can all, we're all head into that room where the lockers are, okay? Just take your seats and uh, we're going to start explaining the weekend. This is the second year that we're running this event, and you know we uh, we wanted to do something different for you guys as athletes. Really, you're the next generation of CrossFit athletes. So, so you guys are coming in. You're going to be the future of the sport. And one of the big things about this competition is we want you guys to form friendships and actually that you know, supersede just the competition. So. Even though you know, this event is for you guys going to be competing against each other, really it's just about the experience, getting to know each other, and having a bit of a good time. Um, this weekend is all about you guys, so if you need anything, you know, some of you message like if you're struggling with injuries or you can't do a workout, that's absolutely fine. You know, you're not going to be like, there's no cuts. No, no, there'll be no cuts. Um, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. If you can't do a workout, just let us know. Um, and you're not going to be, obviously it will affect the scoring, but you can obviously carry on in the competition. So the first workout's for time. You're going to do 50 dumbbells, so with two dumbbells all the way through. You do 50 deadlifts, 40 shoulder to overhead, 30 alternating front right lunges, 20 thrusters, 10 devil's press. However, in between each section, we have a farmer's carry. We are going to be exactly here on the island, okay? So you guys all flew into Palmer, or the airport's actually here listed. So you flew into the airport here, you guys went into Palmer earlier and then drove up this motorway to where we're staying now. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna be going to the north of the island um, onto this beach location here. Yeah, in between, there's a 20 meter handstand walk. Yeah? Um, so Debbie's now uh, gonna walk you guys through the lockers. Yeah, well, we prepared some nice lockers for you. Uh, it's pretty obvious which lockers are yours. Uh, feel free to have a look. Uh, we have something in there for you that will support your The shoes, of course. I was actually thinking about buying new shoes, but this is great now I have them, so um, they will help me along this journey. Shoes? <laughs> Looking really good. I got some new shoes. Look at the look. Okay. Uh, we have clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, Important. Why are you talking? Okay. <laughs> you asking what I got? Yeah. This is what I got. Imagine how it looks in that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, imagine. <laughs> cool clothes. Cool shoes. Cool shoes. Cool shoes. Cool shoes. Cool clothes. So I was telling Mila that you guys can agree to wear the same thing tomorrow. Should nice. sure we? <laughs> Always matching. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. We need to. We need to figure oh, out all the girls like put on the same. We gotta figure out an outfit. Yeah. Exactly. 